Hello guys, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Victoria 2 as Jan Mayen. Yes, we are continuing. Um, so yeah, I read your comments, and it seems like the vast majority of you guys were interested in seeing some more of this campaign, so that's why we are continuing. Alright, so uh, we have now established ourselves down here in the southern tip of Italy, and I think now the most important thing would be to... Um, keep expanding and making our glorious polar bear empire a little bit bigger because at the moment we are quite vulnerable for attack because I have a little bit of a doubt that we're not going to be uh, capable of retaining our uh, great power status for very long um, so I do believe we have to um, uh, you know quick expand as quickly as possible so that we can um, um, basically be capable of defending ourselves for from internal revolts as well as a foreign attack um, we're currently dealing with some rebel issues uh, in our nation which is of course a very very big problem but that's just how things are going to have to be I guess right now uh, you can look at that seven brigades ready to join in, a, in, a, in an uprising I really feel feel like they should fix that a little bit. I feel like the amount of rebel or revolutions you can have in like a certain amount of time is a little bit too much. Um, but yeah, opportunities f of where to expand. Uh, we don't actually have that many opportunities. If we look at the sphere of influence, we can sort of get an idea of where uh, known other nations do have a sphere of influence. Um, like uh, Mexico, I mean, of course, Mexico is far too strong for us to invade. But uh, if we ever go strong enough, then they are, of course, a... Um, an option, but I think like if you take a look at the world, you can sort of understand that like the only sort of weak, easy to annex nations that are left right now uh, are pretty much nations in this area, and this area is already starting to get invaded by uh, other nations. You can see Oman here is getting invaded by France, which you know that sucks a lot for us. Um, because Oman is a very, very sort of good nation. I pretty much always conquer Oman whenever I play a game in Europe and Rosales and I'm playing as a sort of a miner. Because these colonies down here are super valuable in order to establish yourself in Africa. But of course, we are not going to be doing that right now simply because we don't have any opportunity to do that. We are, we've sort of lost the race to Africa, I guess. <laughs> but I mean, seriously, we, we, we are young minds, so that's fine. So I think an invasion of Yemen uh, would be a nice little thing. Not a very valuable place, but uh, maybe we can get some troops from here. Uh, or Hejaz, but Hejaz is, Hejaz is allied to Ethiopia, and I really don't want to fight Ethiopia right now. I think for a sort of a future goal, uh, and, um, colonizing Ethiopia might be good, but right now they're a little bit too powerful for that, so... I think Yemen will be a nice start, uh, and if we can, like, conquer... Um, Maybe we should know these guys are also allied to Ethiopia. I was thinking maybe we should at some point go into uh, uh, Nejd or Najd or whatever. Uh, because there will eventually pop up a lot of oil over here, which would be nice to, to have for us. So, But of course, uh, invading Yemen is not super easy. It's going to be quite easy, but it's not going to be a walk in the park. Simply because we are currently quite limited in the amount of troops we can send over there. Uh, simply because we... Um, First of all, we don't have any navy, <laughs> which is a problem, we're going to have to fix that. But mainly, I'm thinking, we do have to keep quite a sizable force uh, left in Italy to kill any revolts that might happen here. Hopefully, we can, should be able to get them under control by reforming our nation uh, and making people happy and shit. It's usually a good way to make that happen, so... Yeah, let's just immediately start out. Um, start out with going ahead and... Uh, Justifying a war against these Yemen derps. Proceed with that. And let's start speeding the game up. Oh, elections. The first elections, I believe. No, not 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 necessarily the first elections, but... Hey, it's elections. It's it's something. Uh, that's nice, I guess. Yeah. Um, Alright, uh, let's go ahead and uh, build a navy. We do have a decent chunk of money right now. We don't have any loans either. We actually have given some loans, that's hilarious. Uh, so I'm, we need to go in and try and balance this budget here. We are currently losing a lot of money. I can't keep this tariff policy like this. That's just not going to work out, so we're going to have to reduce that. And what is taking all our money? That's a good question. Ooh, industrial subsidies. Yeah, I guess we're just going to have to cancel that. It's going to really piss off people. Uh, but I mean, there's really nothing we can do about it as our industry is failing at the moment, so we can't really do anything about that. And I cannot afford paying those subsidies. Uh, so we're also going to have to reduce... 
uh, administration and f and education and social spending and military and you really pretty much just everything in a desperate attempt to get our balance to get our b budget balance. I guess we can spend a little bit more uh, on education. Education is rather important for your research, so want to make sure we have that. Or I guess ah no, let's now we do have a lot of points, so I don't feel like we need that much education right now. Very few polar bears are around, and uh, the humans don't deserve to be educated, of course not. They only need a little bit of propaganda here and there, and they should be fine. Of course, okay, um... Now then, let's build a navy. It's important and all. I'm gonna focus on just these clipper transports, because they're cheap, and because, um... Uh, because, uh, because of the force, uh, the naval force limits. I'll, I will be able to carry more troops by building clipper transports. Compared to um, building um, uh, these the steamboats, basically, uh, we can influence Italy, which I think is a oh, did I just see that? Yeah, look at that. The Italians just allied with Russia. Oh, and Austria changed to Austria-Hungary. A lot of interesting stuff happening. It's pretty cool. They're still uh, still our allies. So that's fine. Spain is also allied to them, so if we could ally them, that would might be good. No, they're not interested. They're not willing. Oh well. Let's go and influence these guys. Uh, ooh, crap. The uh, Belgians have been uh, influenced. I guess future wars against Italy is kind of out of the question then. Damn, that was disappointing. Oh well. I don't know. I, I, I don't think we can catch up here. I uh, know we have a truce with them, so we can't really do anything about that. Oh well. So much for that. Let's instead just continue. Ah yes, extended constitutionalism, long live the king. We are now uh, once again uh, her, His Majesty's government or Her Majesty, depending on... I think that's what H HM stands for. There we go, revolt already. Oh wow, that's a big revolt. Holy shite. Uh, that's, that's a big revolt. Uh, I really do think we need to get some industry going. Our industry is so shitty. Are we going to win this? Yeah, we should be able to win this. Yeah, there we go. Even though our morale is crap and theirs is really high, we are still going to win. Sure, kill some of those clergy men. Uh, oh wow, I did actually lose. Okay. Guess we need to fund the military a little bit then, temporarily. Uh, whatever, doesn't matter that much. This is an issue, and the, the problem about this game is you can't just spam mercenaries whenever you're coming into trouble, so you can't really get out of your problems by just doing that, you know? Um, I, I don't really care why I click on these things, not that important. Oh, we already have that castle spell, I, we didn't even take an infamy for it, how nice. Really am annoyed by the Spanish. Spanish need, need really need to get their shit together and construct the Suez Canal so I don't have to sail all the way around Africa every time I want to reach my colonies. Um, yeah. Seriously, Spain, you are a civilized European power. You need to do that. Oh, look at that. It's actually some Spanish immigration to, to the Egypt region. Interesting. Okay, uh, shit. Should be fine attacking them now, even though we have, like, no morale. But, uh, yeah. Are all, yeah, look at that. They're, all, they're already organizing themselves in new um, rebellions. Alright, let's get the Navy United. I think I might just have to declare war straight away. That's going to hurt my economy, but I do believe we need it. I, I, I don't want that castle spell to run out, and it's going to be uh, quite a while until we can get down here. So, it's going to declare war. Uh, the uh, the Austrians are actually willing to join, so we might actually be able to convince them to do the war for us. If we could do that, that would be very nice, as we are currently... We really do have to focus on... Um, so I'm just going to declare war uh, at the very moment, then, if the uh, good old Austrians are willing to do join up. So, do they even have a navy? Do they? Yes, they, even, they have indeed a navy, so we might see some Austrians doing something for us here. They're moving their troops around a little bit, anyways. Alright, all the boats. Go chill. No, you don't go there. That's a bad idea. Go go to Napoli. I like to keep both my army and my... Um, and my navy there. As that's usually the sort of the center of the revolution, whenever there's a revolution going on. 
Uh, oh, ah, look at that. Republican Guard. That's nice that the Italians are already having more problems. Hopefully they will just collapse into civil war again. Uh, that would be very nice for me. Uh, wow, they are just speeding through these technologies. Let's, get, just, let's just go crazy on these in, in industry shit, because I really need to get these guys employed again. Because, uh, you know... Because if they are not employed, they cannot get money. If they, if they cannot get money, they cannot get food. And if they can't get food, then a revolution will be upon us. It's like the... Um, where That's the... Um, Thing that we all learned from the uh, from the time of the Roman Empire, you know, bread and games, bread and games. Keep your people kind of entertained, but most importantly, give them food. Because if they don't have food, then they revolt. That's like a it's like a thing you can see like every revolution, you know. Whenever people don't get food, they're like, ah, revolution. Blah. Hey Austrians, would you mind uh, invading Yemen for me, or are you just gonna sit around and be lazy? Damn it! Why are you just sitting there? I specifically told you to invade. Well, I didn't specifically tell you to do it, but that's what I wanted you to do anyway, so... No? Well, we have to get a deal here going, you know? Either you invade... Uh, ooh, Germany is a thing now. Wow, a lot of nations are forming. <laughs> so either you invade Yemen and I chill, or you go here and protect my... Um, my home... not my homeland. My homeland is the Arctic, of course, um, represented by the good old island of Jan Mayen. <laughs> but um, I can't, I can't really leave too many people here, because then uh, we will have a revolution. Oh, only two regiments, so I guess we might have some time here. And ooh, I should also suppress some of these um, movements, calling for stupid stuff. Seriously, Austria, you really, are you really just going to sit there? Is that really how this is going to all work out? Well, I didn't like you either. Well, we're well, just gonna have to take a risk then. Oh yeah, no, 3,000, that's not enough, dudes, to defend a nation. <laughs> uh, you go off the boats and... Uh, oh, I don't know. I'll try to get a balanced army there, like, ah, oh, shit, something like that maybe? This army here? Which one of these is that? Yeah, that one, okay. Put that on the boats and sail that to Yemen. Uh, oh, I would like some... Uh, hey, how about some military axes, eh? No? Fuck you too. Uh, Ethiopia. Military axes? Nope. Uh, shit, I don't know. France? Oh, didn't mean to declare war. It's <laughs> not my intention. Uh, nope, they're not willing. Well, shit then, how am I going to survive? My... Uh, Spain. Spain, Spain, Spain. Spain? Nope. Okay. No, uh, fuck then. Shit, um... No, shit, okay. Uh, how am I gonna do this? Let's ask... Uh, let's try and convince Britain by increasing uh, our relations. Because uh, they're the closest one here, so I'm, you might be able to get this done by just spamming relation improvements here. Oh, we can influence these guys again. Are they... Oh, they're friendly, but... I don't know, maybe. Maybe we can get something done. All right, now well, let's just, uh, you better don't move over to my land and I will rage. I will rage in your face. Oh, wow, we have more than we can support. Damn it. It's hard to not have mercenaries. <laughs> um, now we are not, this is, no, this is not working out. Um, shit. Let's do something like that. Yeah. I do want to fund my navy though. Ah, no! Shit, really now? Is this a, um... We might just lose this colony that I fought so hard. I, hopefully, though, there will be other parts of the world, like Poland and Greece, that will take more, have, have more attention than uh, my area here in southern Italy. Oh, come on, really? More now? Oh, crap, I'm losing your power status. Oh, well, so long, Austria. <laughs> it was good knowing you. Yeah, we really need to fight... Oh, crap, that... Oh. Yeah, this might actually might not actually work out as well as I wanted it to, because the um, we might see that the um, the Italians might just invade us once we are no longer allied to the Austrians. Ooh, we can do some reforms. Nice. Uh, oh, I don't know. What do they want? Uh, voting or 
Uh, moralism. Really? Jingoism. Okay. That's pretty cool, actually. Uh, atheism. I don't know. What do, you, what do you want? What shall I give you? And you will be happy. Planned economy. Pro-military. Yeah, but do, you don't say... Slavery allowed. We have slavery allowed. Oh, here we go. Here you can see how many people want this. So, how many want... Wow, really? Barely anyone vo vo want voting. Okay. Fuck voting, then. But a lot of people want to outlaw slavery. Uh, what about, like, these things? Huh? No, let's actually do schools. Schools are good because they give you education and shit, which is good for your dudes, so they can research violent milita military technology. Yeah, that's why you put people in school. Now, where's my navy? Kind of lost track of it. Oh, there, there it is. Oh, it's kind of dying. One of the votes, mainly. Oh, yeah, that's right. We wanted to convince the good old British. British? Come on. Give me your access. I want it. Seriously, why is this one boat just very dead right now? Uh, consciousness? No, let's just kill the clergyman. Uh, sure, sl supply limit sounds logical whenever we're invading the desert area of fucking Arabia. Oh, hey! The Austrians are actually doing something. Or not, you're just gonna sit there, aren't you? No, nope, they're actually moving in. Yes! Well, why the hell am I here, then? That's pointless. Right, uh, we need to co cooperate here. Can you go there instead? No, we cannot. Okay. Uh, shit. Uh, oh, but they're occupying this though, so that should allow me to uh, put my navy in there. Um, yeah, I'm seriously realizing it. There's, there was really no point for me to move my army over there. And now I'm having issues, because if there's a revolt here now, then I am fucked. Oh! Well, pff, okay, the revolts are gone. I don't know what happened there, but... Okay, nice, then we don't need troops over there, then I guess it's good, because we do need sort of a colonial... We are not occupying this at all. Seriously, why is this so slow? <laughs> well, we'll just let the good old Austrians do it for us then. Could we add a war goal against these guys? We could. <sighs> could we? Yeah, we really could do that. We would take 10 infamy for that, but... That would allow us to just straight out annex uh, Abu Dhabi. To be honest, though, I don't really give a fuck about Abu Dhabi. <laughs> Seriously, there's like... Uh, is there even any oil here? Well, I know there's oil here, but like... Not right now. And I, I think it's gonna be a while until that until that happens. So No, I don't think we're gonna bother about them. If it was like these guys, uh, if it was like Najd or something like that, then I would do it. But if it's not, then it's not. So I think we're just gonna have to do like a major war against like Ethiopia. Oh, I might... Mm, well, let's just go in and just justify, justify war against these guys like right now or like I want to do it uh, whenever this war is closing in because now the Austrians actually have troops here so if we could convince the um, if we could convince them to join any wars against you know these people then that would be very nice because you can see that my army isn't exactly the best at um, you know conquering Arabia <laughs> it's to say kindly no, fuck funding fuck we oh my god the economy our economy is like non-existent. Wow. Uh, feed the poor. We really do need to feed the poor. I don't really want fish anyways. Fish just tastes like crap. Alright, no, I think, yeah. Okay, we actually occupied something. That's good. Go us. Um, let's go ahead and start justifying the, justifying the war right now. I'm going to do it against Hejaz. Um, I think that makes the most sense. Or maybe, no? Okay, who... We could we do yeah we could establish protectorates in um, Najd. Uh, we could not we cannot do that in Ethiopia though no we can only demand concessions. Uh, so how many people live in Najd combined? Ninety three, and here we go ninety. Wow that really there no one lives there okay. But uh, it seems like we can now actually add war goals though because en enough of our people actually support. Um, Jingoism. So what we could do is we could go to war against these guys to establish a protectorate, and then we could um, demand war goals from the Ethiopians because that is a lot cheaper, or it's 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 potentially cheaper than doing it the other way around. So I think that makes the most sense. So let's go and establish a protectorate in Hejaz. Um, yeah, sure. Let's do that. Hopefully it will be cheap. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Oh, come on. Don't need those flashpoints right now. 
Yeah, it's quite bad, but it should be fine. Hopefully. Uh, oh, nope, we were detected. Not nice. But, uh, yeah. Come on, really? We don't... We need speed right now. As the Austrians uh, are, you know... I don't know what the Austrians are doing. As long as, like, they don't go on their boat again. No, they're just gonna stand there. I'm gonna keep... I'm just gonna keep this war going until I can, um... I mean, yeah, I'm really just going to keep this war going until I can, I'm can. i ready to declare the other one. Because I really don't want the Austrians to leave. I want them to stay. Oh crap, a crisis. But I'm no longer a great power though, so that shouldn't affect me. Um, I, am not, uh, I haven't been asked to join yet. So, oh, nice, there we go. More. Uh, yeah, there we go. We can now just, we can now go against these people. So let's go in and get peace. With Yemen. Uh, annex them. What? Reject? Uh, that doesn't make sense. What are you talking about? Bullshit. Seriously, what the hell? We are totally winning this. What are you talking about? What? Oh, it's because of Abu Dhabi. Hey, can you just, like, not be in this war? No? Okay. Well, damn it then. Okay. Uh, Austria, do something. Do something. My castle's belly's gonna run out. I don't want that. Shit. Uh, we might just declare war straight away then, and then the just the, the Austrians can deal with uh, the head jazz. Uh, unless they don't want to join me though. Oh, they might. Maybe they join. Oh man, I don't want. Ah, do I want to take that risk? Do I really want to take that risk? Because if I fail, then then you know, that's a quite the failure. I don't think there's anything we could do to make them want to join even more. Maybe if we end this war, they might do it? I don't know. But uh, how long until the Casas Belly against Hejaz is running out? Or is going to go out? Mm, 92, so we still have some time. So let's just give it some time then. I don't think these guys even have an army. No, they don't, so we should be fine. Just land in their capital and that should convince them to get out of the war. Maybe now they would even just get out of it. Abu Dhabi, we are literally standing in your capital. Please, surrender. Oh, we haven't actually occupied... Ah, oh, that's why. We haven't taken the... Derp, 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 derp. There is a little island there that we haven't taken yet. That's why. Get back on the boat then. Oh, now they're taking it. Okay. Okay. Uh, is there... are you... you really don't want to join, do you? Now they're unlikely. What? No! Damn it! Are they out of my sphere? They are. Damn it! We might have to fight this war on our own then. Oh. That might go very badly for me. Now then, you should accept the yeah, Annex Yemen. That is what we want. So at least we gain this one. But now I just wasted a bunch of infamy on that stupid war that I can't even win. Unlikely. Damn it, Austria! <sighs> we can't even recruit any troops here, so that's not going to help at all. But it seems like revolution has it's not a thing anymore. So, oh no, here we go. Yemen in that. No, that's fine actually. As long as they are not. Yeah, none of these people have any. Yeah, minimum wage movement, I'm fine with that. They can be as much of a movement as you want, as long as the Italian crap goes away. I don't want that. Alright, I guess we need to do some military technology then. Okay, this is how we're going to do it. Uh, I'm going to go in and declare war and just gamble on it and just hope that it works out, because I don't want to get this Casas Belli... I don't want the Casas Belli to go to waste, but I really don't want the, um, the Austrians to... I don't want to lose my alliance with the Austrians, so I am just going to go ahead and... Um, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, not call them into the war, and I'll call them into the war if I see that they're willing to join. But if not, then I won't. So let's just go in and do this. Um, uh, Ethiopia joined. Uh, oh, nice. The um, Naj didn't join. That's awesome. Oh, crap. They actually have a navy. Oh, That's actually kind of bad. Because that uh, means... 
Uh, yeah, unlikely. Oh, damn it. Oh, sorry for breathing into the microphone there. Didn't mean to do that. Because we might not... Oh, no, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't, my troops should stay. They should go and guard the border. Go over there. Uh, we need to encourage troops here right now. We need troops. Troops, troops, troops. Um... Because this navy needs to go home to Europe and pick up some more dudes in order for us to win this war. Uh, can we get it? Yeah, we're fine. Uh, mil no, go away, Oman. I don't like you. I do not like you. I think you deserve to die. Maybe not that meanly. Shouldn't be so mean. That's mean. Go. Oh, there we go. All right, now we need to actually have a rather important battle ahead of us. So we need to go full war economy on this bitch, like so. And uh, we must uh, build up morale. And we must march, and we must murder them. The glorious general of World War Medved shall march. <laughs> okay, um, let's try and find a good general here. Oh, this guy, ah, this guy's fine. Let's just keep him. Grov... How do you pronounce this? I can't even pronounce polar bearish. I'm so shitty at pronunciation. Really, where are you going, Arden? Oh, you can you can walk over to Arden? No! Ah, uh, hell no, you ain't doing that. Yeah, that's right. You're not going anywhere. You are not going anywhere. Hopefully they don't have, they don't have a big enough navy. Oh, crap, here we go. There's the Ethiopian navy. And they're hunting me down. Oh, crap. Shit, sail home! Hopefully they should be slower than I am. Hopefully, because <laughs> uh, they had—I believe they actually have it. They actually have a navy. I just have some transport boats. It's gonna be quite risky, though. How uh, to try and how we can sneak those troops back uh, from from Europe over here? Oh shit! That's twenty-four thousand. Yeah, this I starting to think that this might not have been the best of ideas. Come on, stupid Austria! We really need to become a great power again. And it's because of our industry. If, if our industry was still gr up and running, then we would be fine. Oh crap, we have like... N oh, sh damn it. No, I don't want this. I want some sort of... No, let's go back to these guys. We need to tax the folks. That's why our economy went to shit. Because we were not allowed to tax our people to, to the moon. The humans can handle some taxes. That's what they're here for. To pay taxes to the polar bears. Yes, indeed. I guess we're just gonna have to wait and let this war drag on for a while. That's good though. The fact that they are not willing to march into my troops shows that they're kind of kind of weak. They're not civilized, right? Nah, they're not. They're working on it though, but they're not quite quite there yet. Oh shit! If I move these guys and try to prevent these guys from occupying, they will move in, and then I am fucked. At least until I can get my um, my reinforcements. I think I'm just gonna have to do it though. I think I'm just gonna have to do it. We don't have much of a choice here. We cannot let these province fall. Cannot let it fall. And there we go. That's the end of that. Oh yeah, nice. They're splitting up their guys. That's perfect actually. Sure, France, you can join. If you want to be my friend, then I'm willing to be yours. Okay, good. Let's knock out this army. Uh, nice. That's the, the... Oh yeah, we should be able to kick out this one now. Oh nice! Strategic failure by the Ethiopians right here. And there we go. Still have some troops remaining, but uh, now can we add a war goal? That's the question. We can indeed add a war goal. Nice. But the question is if we could actually enforce that. Maybe if we do a separate peace treaty. But they are the war leader, though, so that might not actually be possible. Hmm. I'm starting to think that a war just directly against Ethiopia might actually have been a better idea than this. Oh well. Like, how much war score would it take for me to, like, take uh, Eritrea, for example? 13. Ah, no, that should that should go. I think that's possible. Maybe. Hopefully. Let's just add it now while we, while we have the chance. Uh, I think Eritrea is the one I want. Yeah, that's the coastal one right here. Um, oh, we could do this one, though. Uh, less people living here, but um, more resources and that kind of stuff. But there's gold here, though. Mm, I want gold. But, I mean, population-wise, isn't that... I mean, the main population centers of Ethiopia is, like, here in the center, and we can't take that, so... 
Because that's where the capital is. So I'm starting to think maybe this one maybe would be the best of ideas. Simply because... Yeah, we've got 25,000 right here. We might be able to get some troops from this province. The biggest one here is only 22,000. No, here we go. 28,000. And that's more like it. So, 1, 2, 3, 4... No, I think actually this one would be a better idea. Dongola. Let's grab Dongola. At Orgo, um, by the way, if we take Dongola, how many provinces will they have left then? They will have one, two, three, four, five. That's, uh, I believe they have to be, f if they're four provinces, we can just annex them all at once. But if they're any less than that, then it's not going to work. Or if they're any more than that, I mean, sorry. So, yeah, oh well. We can't do more than just one. I mean, I don't even know if I can do one in this war, so. I don't want to justify these against these guys, that's not a... It's not something I want, so let's go and add a war goal, demand a concession, demand that they give us, uh, uh, I'm starting, ah, no, let's just do Eritrea, fuck it, or what's the cheapest one, uh, Dongola, that's, yeah, you know, uh, let's do Eritrea then, I want the cheap one, like that, we'll try and see if that works out, try and see if that works, oh, hello, oh, okay, yeah, this is going to take forever. I didn't think about that. Oh well. At least now we don't need to fund our army as much anymore. So we can get some money back into education and social spending and that kind of stuff. Which is very nice. Uh, I shouldn't be encouraging soldiers here, right here. I should instead be encouraging them down back here in Italy. I think that makes more sense. So let's do that. Encourage soldiers. Because there's a bigger chance that we might get some more people convinced to join here. Because there's a lot more people living over there, so... Wow, the French are really taking their time conquering Amman. Alright, so they do... Uh, yeah, the Ethiopian Navy is not nowhere to be seen right now. So I think we might take the risk and sail back over. And why are we not repairing? We need to repair our boats. It's because we're not fun. No, we're funding our boats. I don't know. Let's do this one. Sure. Trench technology... Come on, boats. Yeah, there we go. Ah, it was just we needed a port. Okay. Come on, finish building this one. At least give it one more level before I go. There we go. Ah, that should should be fine. Send them on the boats, and we shall sail. Uh, or not. Stupid. Select the boat. There we go. Nice. Uh, could we do? Could we colonize this? No, we cannot. We don't have enough power. Well, fuck. And there's no real way we can get that. I guess we could build naval ports, but in, I think we can only really... They only really have an effect if we build them in the home provinces. And I... Have I built the port over here? And, and with all the annexations we're going to be doing right now, there's no way to... I mean, we're, we're going to be... Um... Oh, no, 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 no! Crap, where's this? Why is the go-to button not working in this game? Oh crap, all my guys died, and my navy... Oh, no, that's a problem. Shit, 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 shit. Well, I guess we better start recruiting them all over again then. Damn it. Do like that. Shit, that's a problem. Damn, okay. Shite. And yeah, I don't think you actually earn anything from splitting up your troops in this game. I think you... There's like a thing in... Like, you need like big and balanced armies in order to occupy places quickly. So that's what we're going to... Do. Oh, no! Austria! You fucking... Oh, my Jesus. No! You don't even... You don't want to join me? Then why should I join you, you dick? You're fighting the United Kingdom and Germany. What is this? What is this? No, don't... Gi don't give me this crap. Holy crap, that's a... No, it's this... Oh, what? Where's the war? Here it is. Cut down Austria-Hungary to size. Okay. Question is, if I join this, will I be affected? I mean, the, I mean, Austria is going to lose this. That's no question. They are going to lose it. So if I choose to not join, will... Um... So, the British are busy fighting the French, though, so maybe... I don't know, man. No! Decisions, decisions, decisions. 
Uh, shit. Oh, well, I guess we're just gonna have to make a gamble. But I don't know, like, we will lose this war, so we will lose prestige. But the question is, what will we lose the most from? Fuck it, we're joining. I, I cannot afford losing my ally. Cannot for afford to lose this shit. So hopefully they should be just... So hopefully they should leave us alone. Um, and leave us alone to our, you know, annexing over here. Oh, damn it, these guys are occupying me now. Well, that is not good. Alright. Uh, so we did... I heard the sound of troops getting recruited over in Europe. What? The Ethiopians have invaded... Wow, okay. Okay, that's... that happened. Oh crap, they're getting troops there now. We need to get in there. Come on. Come on, pop up. There you go. Nice. Victory. Alright, you go there. And you guys go down there. That's as I wanted it to be. Uh, ooh, three points. Sure. Let's get in here. Hopefully we should be technologically superior. Oh crap, I'm not funding my troops. Damn it. We did win though, so it's fine. Uh, can we move over here? Or can we not? Oh, we can't because these fuckers have. Ah, um, uh, they have a navy here, and that's. We don't have a navy here, so we are. Yeah, that's. This war is not going as well as I wanted it to. Sure, more in favor of jingoism. All the jingoism in the world. All of it. Alright, let's get acceptable school systems. How's the revolts going? Oh crap, the revolts are back up now. Damn it! Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh nice! Peace treaty was signed. And we are still allied to the Austrians. Now, please join me in my war. No, you are a dick. Okay, now we know that. Stupid Austrians. Sure, you can join, you can come, that's fine, you're all... You're all welcome to join, that's fine. Oh my god, this is taking forever! We will never be done with this war. I mean, look how many provinces we have to take, especially in Ethiopia. And I can't even get some... I can't even get troops over here, that's the stupid thing. Because I don't have a navy. Okay, how many guys... three guys, okay, so three... let's build a proper navy this time. So, three clipper transports. And... Uh, commerce raider, or uh, so we could do that. Um, that might work. Sure, let's do like and then no, like right there and a frigate there and frigate there. Whether or not this is going to be good enough to actually, um, whether or not this is going to be powerful enough to actually uh, defeat the uh, Ethiopian Navy, I do not know, but we're just gonna have to hope. Why the hell are the Ethiopians uh, occupying faster than I am? Doesn't make sense at all. I guess it's because they have a lot of horses or something like that. Die! Oh crap, they really just took that territory. Ay 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 ay. Demand... I suggest, okay, um... Oh, I kind of understand that they're not willing to accept that. Hmm. Now we have to spend like ages in order to get this one reoccupied. Oh well, I guess we'll just sit around and wait then. And we are taking loans. We are not buying anything, so we it's purely our military fucking us up. Yeah, I really need to get those troops over here. I am getting desperate. Nope, I didn't like you either. Uh, but I'm not a great power now, so we'll, if someone could please sphere me, I would be most happy about that. Belgium, you're sphering Italy. How about you sphere me as well? No, are, is anybody actually trying at all? No one, no one, no one's trying. Like no one gives a fuck about me. No one. China is actually they have civilized, have they? I believe they have. But I don't think they can be a great power without being civilized. So let's take a look. Yep, they're indeed civilized now. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So they might actually start reconquering some of these territories. That's nice for them. 
Alright then, let's sit around and not do anything. Why, while we wait. Nice, there we go. Thing is, I can't leave this right now. I mean, if I do, then they are just going to come back and start taking more land. I guess we could, nah. Yeah, that's going to, no, 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 you stay. Yeah, that's going to convince them. So we're just going to have to spend ages occupying provinces with like one unit. <laughs> Uh, until our reinforcements arrive, that is, anyways. Let's pay some of these loans. No, sh why is my con? Oh, come on. Stupid economy. Get some. Get away with that. Remove some of that. There we go. Back in balance. We are just speeding through these technologies. Very nice. That's what we need. Okay, nice. Our newly acquired military staff has been recruited. Let's get it all over there. Of course, we're going to be in big trouble if these revolutionaries revolt, but no, they're fine. If we suppress them, maybe. I don't know. I do not know. I mean, it's almost like I forget sometimes that I'm actually playing as the Polar Bear Nation. I'm starting to take this far too seriously. Um, Why are you, why are you standing here? This doesn't make sense. Stop standing there. Okay, so we are sending the Navy now. Or soon. There you go. Okay, let's just, just gamble our way over here. Oh, look at that. Oman is now annexed by... Um, by uh, France. France Republique. We still cannot recruit any more troops. I think those Icelandic derps died uh, whenever the, the Ethiopians sunk my boat. So that might be the reasoning for... Um... But seriously, I'm, I'm... Austria! Join! Why not? I hate you. Likely. It's a fuck if we're fighting Hejaz in Ethiopia. You even had troops chilling here at some point. I mean, I... Um, like, I can understand that you don't want to join wars that is that you are not going to gain anything from. But, I mean, even I would join that. Oh, hey, our guys arrived. Nice. We actually got them here. Nice. Okay, so now we actually have an army. Uh, we can actually now cross over there, so whether or not that's a good idea, I do not know. Let's just get in here and just quickly start sieging, and then we'll convince them to come to our territory. I mean, we like, split up a little bit. I don't know whether or not they're going to do that. Uh, sure, whatever, I don't really give a fuck about these policies. Right, no, they occupy my stuff as well, but we took one of theirs, so that's fine. Yeah, now got, there we go, now they split it. So now we shall go in here and murder. Murder them. Go quickly over here and kill those. Come on. There we go. We'll retake Aden. And they are coming for us. Go into port. I don't know, are we strong enough to fight them now or are we not? I really wish I could get a bigger navy because I, I want to be the one blocking the Red Sea. I don't want them to be doing that. Holy crap, we are, our guys are just dying out of attrition here. That's sad. Well, let's do this one. Supply limit. We need that. So badly. Come on, retake it. You know what? I might just I might just let them take my stuff and then I'll just quickly occupy Hejaz and then we'll start campaigning throughout Ethiopia. I think that might work out better. Might. Might work out. I don't know. Oh, the communists are getting some numbers. Communist, um... Communist polar bear nation. I don't know if I see that happening. We'll have to wait and see, I guess. No! No, 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 no! I need that jingoism! Oh, I don't really care about jingoism. I just need taxes! If you liberals just didn't force me to, like, not tax the people, then I would be all about having you in power. But no, that's too... That's not how you roll, I guess. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah, I think this episode's been a decent length now, so I think we're going to go ahead and end it here, and then we will have the uh, big questions answered in the next episode. Are we going to be the communist polar bear nation, or are we not? Who knows? Only the future will tell. Um, so yeah. Ooh. This nation exists now.
Ah, this is um, this nation used to be a part of uh, Austria, but I guess it uh, broke free. Sad day, sad day for Austria, anyways. Wow, well, look at that! The Austrians are actually having some legitimate problems. What? The Austrians have like no army right now. What's up with that? Oh, maybe they have like um, yeah, they had like the cut down to sides thingy, which basically makes it so like they, they can't you know have an army basically. What was the recipe for revolution? That's actually really bad for us, because uh, if they have a revolution, then we are going to lose our alliance, and then we shall be fucked. Indeed. Well, we're just gonna have to wait and see whether or not that happens or not. Because this episode is over, so yeah, thanks so much for watching this episode of Let's Play Victoria 2 as Jan Mayen! And until next time, bye.